The guy down there on the rope, that's Rick. Rick's stuck in a time loop. And the only way he can free himself is by getting to the top of this mountain. I'm living in hell. Yep, you sure are. <laughs> Each contestant will need to answer 12 questions correctly to get Rick to the top of Metal Mountain. One wrong answer, and it's game over. If they aren't sure, they can either switch categories, unlock multiple choice, or phone a banger TV host. We've searched the planet for metalheads who think they know everything about metal. Now, it's time to see if they've got what it takes. Don't kill me! It's time to play Metalheads! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Metalheads. We've got another contestant here with us. Jake, where are you calling in from? Parkdale, Toronto. We've got a local boy. We love it. We've really traveled across the globe, but it's nice to stop in at home every once in a while with our contestants. So what's your metal area of expertise? What's your, your metal favorite? I'd like to think I'm all over the map, but I, I like it gross. I like it raw, but also if there's no technical expertise there, and and a flourish after a while, like ah, I can listen to punk for that. All right, so we like a little a little a grind core, a little on the technical side, a little bit of death metal, a little bit of mellow death in there too. Let's play metalheads. Question number one: Your three categories are old time rock and roll, Birmingham, and environmentalism. Let's go environmentalism. All right, we're going environmentalism. This French band is known for their environmentalism in their lyrics. Gojira. Their song didn't even let me finish. I was pretty sure it was going to be Gojira. Shut it down. Gojira, correct. Next question. All right. Your three categories for question number two are child prodigies, American heavy metal, and psychedelic stoner metal. Ooh, let's go psychedelic stoner metal. This band formed in Massachusetts and is known for their albums. Dead Root Stirring, Lore, and Reflections of a Floating World. Their most recent album, Innate Passage, was released in 2022. Well, I'm slightly out of my depth. I guess I don't smoke enough weed. Let's go new category. I haven't been listening to it. All right, yeah. the correct answer there was Elder. Elder was the correct answer. Oh, to yeah. that I'm still listening to their older Elder, yeah. yeah. All right, so your two other categories you can choose from is Child Prodigies and American Heavy Metal. Let's go American Heavy Metal. In the Court of Dragons was released in 2021 by this band. Uh, yeah, Matt Heafy instead. Mm -hmm. Trivium. Trivium is the correct answer. There we go. Ring it a ding ding. Your question number three categories are cover songs, progressive metal, and heavy hitters, which is our drummers category. Let's see progressive metal. Progressive metal, all right. Stepping a little bit outside of the grindcore realm. Fear Inoculum was this band's first album in 13 years due to creative, personal, and legal issues. I gotta put on my worm rod hat for a sec. And yeah, this is when I would like to uh, reach out to a banger TV host. All right, let me fire up a hook. No, house. never mind. No, no, no. I got it. I got oh, it before oh, you call. Oh. It's fucking, dude, it's Tool. It's Tool. It just <laughs> took me a second. Yeah, it was Tool. Fear inoculum. You just needed to know that there was the option there. Tool is the correct answer. We got it. We're moving on to question number four. Your three categories are 90s black metal, horror movies, and metalcore. Let's go. It's 90s black metal? Your question is, The Somberlane is the debut album by this Swedish black metal band. Die Section. Correct answer, look at that, all right. Question number five, you've got three categories. War, death metal, and goat whore. Death metal. Hidden Histories of the Human Race was released by this Colorado death metal band in 2019. Oh, uh. Now can I call a banger TV person? Yo. Mr. Daniel DK, you're on the phone with Jake. He's in Parkdale. Parkdale, Toronto? My old stomping grounds. I see what the no-frills doing groceries on a regular basis. He's definitely never seen me at the no-frills. I've never done groceries. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's got a death metal question. Hidden Histories of the Human Race was released by this Colorado death metal band in 2019. Is that blood incantation? I don't think it is. Is that your final answer? 
Yeah, what is this, multiple choice? Yes, this is my final answer. DK's pretty emphatic. Jake, what's your answer? Thumbs up. All right, you've gone with the correct answer. So, Mr. DK, you did it. Jake, you're still alive. You're the man, DK. It's question number six. Your next three categories are you call yourself a fan, which is our fan-based nicknames category, side projects, and Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath. Ozzy Osbourne bit the head off which animal during a performance in Des Moines, Iowa in 1982? I'd love to say puppy, but I'm gonna go with bat. You're gonna go with bat. You're gonna go with the correct answer. It is bat. Question six, down. You're still safe. You made it halfway. Woohoo! Question number seven. Your categories are geology, grindcore, and symphonic metal. Let's go geology just to whip it up. This German prog metal band, who have named some of their past albums after units of geological time, were honored. The Ocean the or the Ocean Collective. You're not even letting me finish, and you're giving both answers correct. We all like Jeopardy. Yeah, you're just buzzing in before the other contestants that aren't here. <laughs> Moving on. Question number eight. Your three categories are sludge metal, speed metal, and supergroups. There's a lot of supergroups that I don't listen to because they're by definition often like kind of terrible. So yeah. let's go speed metal. Name the Canadian record label from the 80s that's responsible for the speed metal logo, which depicted two samurais crossing blades and a rising sun behind them. I can't switch categories at all. This is, this is it or nothing. You also have the option to turn any question into a multiple choice question. I can picture it, but I'm going to whip it. All right. Your multiple choice options are Massacre Records, Bonsai Records, and Megaforce Records. Oh, it's Bonsai. You are correct. We're getting close to the top. We've got question number nine. You've got three categories. They are Melodeath Albums, Early Projects, and Metallica. Let's go Metallica. James Hetfield recorded uncredited backing vocals on the song Twist of Cain and Possession on this singer's debut solo album. Uh, Danzig. That's the correct answer. Look at that. Question nine in the bag. We're in our final three questions. We're at the summit, baby. Your question number 10 categories are roadies, band album covers, and Metal Blade Records. Let's go band album covers. This American death metal band's 2019 sophomore LP, Post Humus Humiliation, received an alternative plain cover due to the graphic nature of the original, which featured a ripped open face with its jaw split in two. And that's by an American band? American death metal band. I'm completely whiffing it. I can't call anybody else. Fuck! I don't have it, and I'm gonna say Cannibal Corpse just because I can. You can say Cannibal Corpse, but unfortunately, it's the incorrect answer. The correct answer was Pissgrave. Ah, of course. If you hadn't heard of the album, I do think it would be up your alley. Well, I'd love to, but they banned the album cover. It was just... <laughs> All right, well, you made it close to the top. You got to question number 10. That's nothing to sneeze at. How do you feel about your experience? Oh, good times, man. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. It's super fun. I'm glad I made it up there, and uh, yeah. We appreciate you coming at Jake. You did great. We'll hopefully talk to you again sometime soon. All right, I'm out. Cheers, guys.